Hi everybody, Dan Elman here with the kickoff leg of a 50 cent pick four at Parks on Pennsylvania Derby Saturday, race number seven, the $200,000 Parks Dirt Mile. It's a two-turn mile race at Parks. As we take a look at the field, we see the name of the defending champion, the courageous, classy millionaire, the number two mind control. Going out for trainer Todd Pletcher, he proved last year that going two turns is no issue for him at all. He was already a multiple grade one winning sprinter, and as we take a look at the time form U.S. pace projector, when he gets out of the gate, he can be forwardly placed, and that is a plus in a time form U.S. blue bar scenario, which favors horses on or near the lead. The number one in this race is Don't Mesa With Me, who just earned a stakes placing in his most recent and start. We're going to take a look at the stretch run of the two-turn seven furlong Russell Road at Charlestown. This was a race that was fast early and slow late, and there was a heavy favorite in this race that just didn't show up after pushing the fast pace. Don't Mesa With Me ends up running a solid third. He received a solid 91 buyer speed figure. Now he's going to stretch out a furlong to a mile. I'm not concerned about that at all with him. I'm not concerned about his ability to win at parks. He has done so in the past. The question is, can he handle these kind of horses? This Parks Dirt Mile has the look of a graded stakes race. Don't Mesa with me is in very good form, but he might be a notch below the top contenders, and the true top contender is the morning line favorite, the number two mind control. And going into last year's Parks Dirt Mile, there were a lot of questions for mind control to answer. Heck, he hadn't run around two turns since the Breeders' Cup Juvenile of 2018. His connections were intent on keeping him sprinting and around one turn. The Parks Dirt Mile was kind of a weird race. Going in, the big favorite trained by Steve Asmus in Silver State looked like a major Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile contender, and at the 16th pole even looked more so because he went right by mind control and looked on his way to victory. Two things happened. A, Silver State began to hang, began to wander, began to pull himself up, and B, mind control, as has been his habit throughout his career, dug down with grit and determination, and mind control got there to win the race by a scant head with a big buyer speed figure. This year, he did it again, mind control. Two starts back in the grade three Salvatore mile, he battled hammer and tongs, tooth and nail with last year's Pennsylvania Derby winner, Hot Rod Charlie, all the way around the track, and he was game to deny Hot Rod Charlie. Last time out the Charlestown Classic, we're gonna watch the stretch run of that race. This is a three turn mile and an eighth at Charlestown. Mind Control is going to finish a fine third behind one of the better handicap horses in the country, Art Collector, and one of the local hopefuls, the, uh, the horse uh, from Charlestown, Muadib. Mind Control missed the break. And go back into your free formulator past performances when you bet on the Parks card on Saturday. Click on the short comment. You'll see that Mind Control just broke very badly. I talked to Todd Pletcher earlier this week. He said that John Velasquez didn't like the way he was standing when they sprang the latch, and it just gave Mind Control too much to do. Uh, Mind Control with a better break in here is going to get close to the pace, and I really like him turning back to a mile. The number three is Nick Papa Giorgio. Papu's in the house. He's also taking a big step up in class. He's a horse that's been competing in allowance level competition on turf at Laurel. You'll see him occasionally at Presque Isle Downs in synthetic races. He has won six dirt races in his career, but you've got to go all the way back to his most recent dirt start way back in May of 2021, where he was third against Starter Allowance Company. It's just a big step up in class for a veteran who's very likable and very versatile, but might be in a bit too tough. The number four is a horse with a lot of upside potential. That is the four-year-old Pennsylvania-bred Far More Power, who just finished second last time out in the Stormcat. It broke a mini two-race win streak for this son of Uncle Lino. It was a race where they stretched him out around two turns for the first time. It was a speed-friendly track. The pace was solid. He came from out of it, and he ran second to Top Boss, who's also in this field. Lou Linder does a very, very good job with his horses at parks. Far More Power has upside potential. Potential. One of the problems is not only is he facing a salty veteran in mind control, but he also has to take on the horse that beat him last time out, and that's mind control's uncoupled stablemate, the 5 2 boss. Let's watch the Stormcat where 2 boss gets the better of far more power. 
Two Boss showed a lot of versatility in this race. Two starts back at Parks, going two turns, he was able to make the lead. In this race, there was a lot more pace on, and Todd told me they wanted to get this horse to the outside. They lost a little bit of ground, and they lost a little bit of position, but were happy to do so to get him out into the clear, and then Two Boss was very game to get it done as the favorite. Like Far Mo Power, he is a four-year-old with a good amount of upside potential, who is also stepping up in class. The number six in here is New Commission, and New Commission's going to be stretching out, and I won't be surprised if that means he shows a little bit of speed. He's coming out of an allowance race at Delaware that was won by Yodel E. Hey Hu, who I believe has won 13 races. He came back out of that win over New Commission to win another allowance at Delaware with a 94 buyer speed figure. This horse has won around two turns at Parks in the past. Uh, he's going to be making his third start of the form cycle. I'm not sure if chasing mind control early is a recipe for success, however, because let's say he chases mind control and somehow he's able to get the better of mind control. Well, now here comes the closers. So a lot of work he's going to have to do if that's the trip they decide for new commission. Milton the Monster is the number seven. He's going turf to dirt for trainer John Service. I talked to John about Milton the Monster earlier this week. He said he was using that race, that last race, the Rainbow Air on turf as merely a prep. The problem is... It was a prep for an allowance race in New York that didn't fill, and this is sort of plan B. That being said, Milton the Monster has run some solid and fast races in his career, a 100 buyer speed figure over a sloppy park surface going 7 eighths earlier this year, and a stakes place in going a one-turn mile in New York in his subsequent race. So he does have races, he gained fitness from his last start, and he is getting back to his preferred surface on dirt. If there is rain and moisture in the track, upgrade Milton the Monster, he seems to do his best running on off going. The eights Derby House. He had a five race win streak snap last time out, but he lost nothing in defeat. Let's watch the grade three West Virginia Governors contested over a wet track. And I talked to his trainer, Juan Carlos Guerrero. Derby House they wanted to keep him on the outside. That just seems like the place to be at Mountaineer. And the winner of this race, Folsom, kind of got shuffled back a bit when Derby House made a bid on the turn. Folsom then came to the outside of Derby House and sort of herded him down towards the inside where the connections didn't want to be. All in all, it was a really nice effort for Derby House. Two starts back at Parks, he earned a big buyer speed figure. And he's the kind of horse that turning back to a mile might be okay. The pace situation is a bit of a concern because I do think he likes to have something to run at. The time form U.S. blue bar scenario might work against him. Let's take a look at my top pick for the Parks Dirt Mile. I'm just going to have to chalk out with mind control. He didn't break last time out. He won this race last year in fast time. And if he breaks, he's going to be likely the best horse getting one of the best trips. And that's on or near a soft early pace. He's my top selection in the kickoff leg of a 50 cent pick four on Pennsylvania Derby Saturday at Parks Racing. It's a great card, friends. Good luck.